Minds, Micah Frankel at Fit NHB alongside Billy Ray Valdez. Sir, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm uh, just getting out of work and getting, getting some rolls in and about to get some boxing, so feeling good. From one hard job to the other, could you describe the passion, the love you have for this sport, what it is, the drive, the motivation that pushes you to put in the long hours you were telling me you do daily? Uh, you know, I just putting in 100% of 100%. And, uh, you know, I just I want to be the best at this sport. I, I love uh, MMA. I love fighting, you know, just something that, makes me happy when did you realize you had this passion that the sport was speaking to you in that manner I was probably about nine years old when I saw boxing and just seeing something like that I wanted to do that and I remember I told my dad like this is what I want to do and uh, he laughed and he was like nah you don't want to be fighting but uh, here I am now you know uh, doing some cage fighting and uh, just loving it, you know, loving every second of it. It's been a couple years, the training, the amateur journey, it's coming to an end now as we look at Cage Fury Fighting Championships 116, the professional debut. How do you look back so far on this first chapter of the martial arts journey competing as an amateur? Um. Well, it's been a long, hard road. Um, there's been a lot of things that have costed me to get to where I'm at now. But at the same time, I, I'm more than willing to pay that over and over again. Um, I'm super happy that I'm here now, right at the forefront of my pro career. Um, and I'm looking forward to making it a long, prosperous career. I'm super excited about it. You went through, and not every gym has their guys do boxing, kickboxing, and MMA individually and kind of put the pieces all together, but you did that here at FIT. And how do you feel that uh, path of the journey was beneficial for you? Well, I feel like um, with Tom, Arlene, and JJ doing all the, you know, pure sports um, where it's boxing, wrestling, and jiu-jitsu, um, and just ground MMA, um, I feel like it benefits me in a, in a way that I feel some gyms are just MMA, and they just mix everything together, whereas, like, we break down the dynamics of boxing, so we go with boxers, you know, and, and uh, we tend to hold our own. And with, you know, with wrestling, you know, I did wrestling since I was in high school. So I've always been really strong with that. But uh, getting new looks and constantly rebuilding uh, the style for each and, in, each and every individual fighter, it just makes it, you know, this is home. And it's super easy for us to get it down, you know? I think it was the the first fight, that first amateur fight that we saw you in MMA. We we could see the wrestling chops come out on you, and over the amateur experience, I think we saw the comfortability. You had had the boxing and the kickboxing, but it was a different a different level to get comfortable doing it in the cage. Can you speak to that? How it took some time to implement the striking in the cage when the wrestling was available to you. Um, I feel like knowing that I had the tools to take someone down just gave me that much more comfort in throwing my hands. If I got in trouble, then I could take you down. And, uh, you know, certainly it's been a lot of uh, work getting my hands to where they are now and getting my striking up to where it's at now. I'm, I'm really comfortable with just knowing that I could take you down at any time, I could hit you at any time, and it's precision over power, and I have power naturally, so. As a heavyweight, we've seen you be able to really dictate how the fight starts off and where it takes place. Is that something you always envisioned being able to do? 
Yeah, when I go, when, um, so when I get into the ring, um, that's the best feeling in the world. Um, I feel the most clear-minded when I get into the ring on fight day. As soon as they shut the gates, I remember pretty much every step I took, whatever I did in that fight. Um, I I like setting the pace and uh, I like putting on the pressure and you know just keeping up that nonstop you know athleticism and uh, you know I just love wearing people out so I don't know if that works. looking at the other guys in the division other heavyweights that you just see out there on the internet other guys fighting what do you feel like is gonna separate you from the pack that's different in your game um, endurance um, I feel like I'm I have a lot of endurance um, you know I can run I run seven miles every Sunday um, you know I after training here I go to the gym work out more weight lift then do another you know 30 minutes of cardio after that so there's really like a non-stop um, there's a non-stop effort in in my heart and in my mind I'm not gonna stop and I feel like when I see other heavyweights you know after a first round they kind of start slowing down and that's not me where do you get that kind of work ethic, that kind of drive from? Like you said, that that's not normal for what we see. Um, I think a lot of it got instilled to me, in me when I was younger. Um, you know, when I was younger, I was 16 years old, picking chili in a ranch and doing hay baling. And, uh, you know, we didn't stop until the work was done that day. And then going into wrestling... You know the same type of work ethic that they instill in you in wrestling. You don't stop until you pin, you get you pin your opponent, and uh, you know you still have like seven more opponents to to you know wrestle that day. So I think that's where I get my work ethic from. That work ethic, all the hard work has led now to becoming a professional athlete, a professional fighter. What did it mean to you getting the green light from the team here that it was time for us to look for that professional fight? Um, well, um, I believe, you know, I, I fought three times within a year span, and all three times I finished my opponents, and, uh, you know, uh, my confidence has been sky high. Um, when I step into the ring, like I said, I'm not worried. I'm not overthinking things. I'm not over uh, pushing things. You know, I'm not trying to force things. It's all natural. And so me and Tom Vaughn, we talked about it. And I, I said, I'm comfortable with going and pursuing the professional career now. And he agreed. He, he said I was ready. So um, the one thing I... I love about this gym too is that they know when you're ready they know what when to accept a fight when not to so they 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 have a lot of knowledge a lot of rich history here ian austin is going to be the opponent i heard that he has a striking background a little more of a muay thai striker look uh, what is your expectations he's certainly not a sleeper i'm not going to overlook him at all um I do believe that, you know, we're going to be throwing some hands, you know, we're going to be exchanging, but ultimately, uh, I'm just going to try to overpower him and, and overwork him, just have him have a look that he's never seen before. The pro debut is ahead of you. It's the start of a new journey. Is there another level of excitement that this adds, that you're, that you're starting something new, that it's a, a different part of this journey I feel like uh, ultimately uh, it's the same day at, you know it's the same you know it's another day in the office except this time I'm actually getting paid for it and uh, I'm excited uh, I'm super happy with getting the experience I've been getting and so it's just another stepping stone in the road and I can't be more happy about it something I've really worked hard for. Last thing I'm asking you about is what should the fans in Atlantic City be expecting? 
They should be expecting a hell of a show. Really good sportsmanship. That's all I'm going to say about that. Billy, excited to see what you do here as a pro, sir. Thank you for the time. Yeah, thank you, sir.